the sweet sounds of a Shelby Cobra is coming out of Whitby Motor Cars on Industrial Avenue in Greensboro. It's the fastest one we, we've built was zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Owner Barry Collins and his nephew Jeff have invested more than two decades putting these custom roadsters together from scratch. Whatever color they want it, we can paint it. Whatever options they want, uh, you know, we can build a car right to what their dream car is. They start with a 35 box kit from Factory 5 Racing in Massachusetts. Almost everything for the car is included except the engine. Some want big 427 engines. Now the popular engine is the Coyote Ford engine. Uh, it's about 500 horsepower right out of, out of the box. In fact, I tell my, my pastor that if he had one of these cars, he could be at the church in eight seconds. <laughs> Barry and a team of 10 do it all here, building the chassis, assembling the bodywork, painting the iconic Cobra stripes, and the final polish and interior work. It's not a fast or inexpensive process. From start to finish, it takes around eight to 10 months. You can spend a lot of money or a little money, just depending on how much chrome you want on it, what kind of engine you put in it. These racing machines start around $65,000. Barry never forgets the first time a client drove their new ride out of the garage. The majority of them are grinning from ear to ear because they, they do look good when they're finished. Like Barry Adams, who lives outside of Wilmington, it's been a dream of his to own one since college. As you can tell by the gray hair, I had to wait a few years but now I have one. It takes you back to your youth. And it, there's a certain sound, there's a certain feel to the car that has a, a tendency to make you very youthful. Street legal roadsters built right here in Greensboro are now seen in almost all 50 states and around the world. We've built cars, we've got them in eight different foreign countries. Canada, Austria, Spain. This restored legend car is heading to Saudi Arabia. Barry says just don't be in a rush to get anywhere. It takes you 45 minutes to fill it up with fuel. Why? Because everybody in the service station comes running over wanting to look at the car. Tyler Harden, Fox 8 News.